Hey my loves, it's your girl, I'm Smitty XX here. Okay my loves, this video is going to be a little bit longer than usual. This is going to be part one. We're going to discuss Laverne Cox's interview on The Breakfast Club. And I want to start off with um, the conversation where her and Jess, Jess Hilarious were talking about um, comedians and are they offensive to the LGBT plus community. Because I did a post and I had so many people underneath that with different opinions. And I will say this, I've always said this, yes I do believe comedians have the right to freedom of speech. Everybody has the right to freedom of speech. Even people I don't support, they have the right to freedom of speech. Now, understand this. What you say can have consequences. And if you say something and a community does not like that, you have nobody to blame but yourself. Okay? Um, and I love um, what Laverne Cox said when she said, um, you may not be homophobic, but what you say can be homophobic. You may not be transphobic, but what you say can be transphobic. A lot of times, people are so quick to say, oh, I'm just going to say something to say right. Because like Vern said, com comedians are not up to, um, what is it, um, criticism. Like they just, and the thing about it is, we are living in a society where, you know, people will love to say this generation is too soft. No, this generation is about accountability and this generation is saying, you know what, you're not going to say what you want to say and get away with it. And I'm so for that. You should not be able to say what you want to say and, it's, and suspect that you should be able to go here and there and disrespect the marginalized community and that somebody's just supposed to go, go with it and move with it. No, no. And especially in the black community, that is something that we need to definitely, you know, deal with because of the fact that, especially within the black community, people feel like they can say whatever they want about gay, trans, non-black people, and we're supposed to just take it and be quiet. But at the same time, you know, when we try to tell people about our community, don't nobody want to listen. Don't nobody want to say that, but you want to tell us what we're supposed to do. No, 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 baby. It does not work like that. Okay. It does not work like that. We all grown up in here. Okay. All right. Um, I love, um, I, Laverne gave a lot of gems in this interview. I love the way she did. It was very classic, very professional, but like she said, um, at one point she said, we're all human beings. And the part when it comes to trans people, the trans community and the LGBTQ plus community, People forget that we are human beings just like you, but you don't want to treat us with human, like human beings because you don't want to even give us the rights of marriage. You don't want to give, you know, let people go to the restroom there and sign. It's, it's just so much. But why can't people just look at trans people as human beings, period? That's it. Why can't we just be looked at human beings, period? Nobody wants to talk about that, do they? Okay. Part one, this is part one. I'm coming back to part two, but please remember, treat trans people like you want to be treated. Trans people, we're human beings too. Trans rights are human rights, period, okay? I love you all day and every day, my babies. I love you, okay? I'll be back with part two, okay? Bye.